turn your volume down on those, please. Huh? Turn your volume down on both of those. Hello, hello. Let me get my station a little organized here. Hi, everyone. Hi, Janice. Hey, Peggy. Hey, Carlene. How are you guys? I think that'll do it. Ooh, tonight's going to be good. We got some really cool stuff tonight uh, that I have not seen. Some things I have not seen in the nail industry. But they're very, very unique. Uh, so these are great for human nails. These are great for uh, personal nails. Eva or oh, honey. I just messed up my clean piece of paper I put down. Hey, Debbie. Hey, Bobby. Hi, Misty. Thanks for being here. <clears throat> How's your Sunday? I just finished teaching a three-day class at, what, two o'clock today? Um, so I prepared for tonight's class all the way back on Thursday, but I kind of had to pull some things together this afternoon. Uh, so I finished just in time to do that and take some photographs and that kind of thing. Hi, Sharon. Sharon's at my next uh boot camp i'm doing let's see how much trouble i can get you in tonight norma won't you stop it honey hi trina hey kathy hey barbara hey Rashonda. look we only have four seats left in the august press on nail boot camp she about to sell out honey she's online if you want to come grab you one of those seats because this is the third time i've taught it and all three times the class has sold out so yeah, grab you one of those seats. Hi, Kim. You finally caught a love. I've been missing you. You got to call me, Kim. I need my Kim fix. You visit with your son today, Sharon? Good. Homemade beef enchiladas for dinner? We've not had dinner yet. We had a late lunch, didn't we, honey? About two-ish, I think. So, uh, we ate Italian. I probably won't eat dinner, dinner. I might make a protein shake or something like that. Um, you, I can't wait for you to be here, Sharon, either. You're doing press-ons now? Girl, you need to get to this boot camp. Hi, Kathy. Hey, Kim. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hi, Heather. Incredibly fa fa fast shipping. Girl, don't we know it? Yeah, I, you love the Mermaid's Cove? I do, too. So, Mermaid's Cove is going to go hand-in-hand hand with, uh these fairy chromes tonight too from denmark. hi from denmark how are you tonight thank y'all for being here look it's uh it, it's been so beautiful here tomorrow child it's gonna be in the 90s i think all week it's gonna stay in the 90s so, good thing my pool is open. I, I don't really go get in the swimming pool because I don't know how to swim and I'm scared of water. Uh, but my nutritionist has been after me and so has my doctor. They want me to do some walking, like hydrotherapy. So, I might have to go do some this week in the pool. I might have to walk in the pool for a while. I know this grandbabies will be in it, honey. Hey, Alexandra, how are you? I miss seeing you. We need to try to plan to get together. Hi, Pam. Hey, Denise. She really says she loves some chrome. You love some chrome, honey. Chrome is my favorite color. Her favorite color is chrome. We're just a few minutes before seven. Let me move my... Um... Hey, guys. How is the upload tonight? Because we just... Um... I watched a playback of one of our videos last week, and I had to insist that Chantel come. We have wall-to-wall -wall internet service here. They've been here so many times, it's unbelievable. Maybe, probably at least six or seven, hadn't it, Keith? Mm -hmm. Every time we turn around, we're having trouble with the internet. So, uh, I made mm -hmm. them upgrade us to the highest download and upload speed that they offer. So, 
We are hoping that that helps. Uh, the video is much clearer. Yay! It's showing great right now. Awesome. Let's hope it stays that way. Because if it, and listen, even after I upgraded to the highest speed, I ran a speed test again just a while ago, and I'm only getting half that speed. So they're sending me a technician out Tuesday to double check it. But half the speed I upgraded to is still 10 times faster than what they had me sitting at. So yeah. Hi, Karen. It does look better. Keith's saying it looks better, too. Okay, let me get me a drink of water here. I got two minutes. Sweet, it's all over. You know, Chantel is our only provider uh, in my area that I can use for internet. So, thank you for the stars, Barbara. I appreciate that. Oh, it feels like 105. Oh, no, girl, y'all can keep that. I can't do it. Mm -mm, no. So Friday's my birthday. We're having our giant birthday sale. We have um, at 8 p.m. this coming Friday night, I'll be 54. Uh, we are having uh, 54 items for 54% off for 54 minutes. Set your, your uh, clocks. Remind yourself, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. The whole store is not going to be on sale. It's going to be 54 items. We're going to try to put some of our um, nice artsy stuff in there for you guys so that if you've been uh, collecting uh, collections or trying to get full collections built or something, we'll have those kind of dispersed. Nothing tonight is in that sale, unfortunately. But uh, you want to check back Friday because there's a new release Friday. Honey, I got it sitting right here. Oh, what does it say? That's got Miss Tracy's name on it. Look here. I know it's showing backwards to you. Team Ladybug Luxury Ladybug Liner. Look at this box. How beautiful. Mm, honey. Wait a minute. I gotta make sure I got the right set. Yes, I do. And Pay, uh, Perla, they'll all be in a category to it. They'll be under the 54% off sale. You just click that one and boom, 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 boom. They'll be right there. This is going to debut on Miss Tracy's birthday because I love it. And this is something I have worked on for a long, long time. Look at this beautiful box magnetic closure. These are our summer neon glow in the dark. I did say glow in the dark. Luxury ladybug liners. Honey, these things is like butter. They are like butter. They are so pigmented. It's unbelievable. And when I had these uh, made, I had the color pop put on the top of it. So you know exactly what color you're reaching for. You don't have to look for a label or anything like that. And they have these itty bitty teeny weeny tiny very very thin detail brushes in them i know that's hard to see on camera you need it in your life kim they debut friday the 17th i've already done uh some artwork with these you guys and just like anything else now look they're in a closed up black box they're also in a black bottle. So when you put these uh, on your press-on nails or on your client's nails or on your nails, you need to feed it with a light source, just like the little stars that go on your kid's bedroom window that glow. They have to feed with a light source, and then they will glow because they're, they're all enclosed here, okay? So you got to give them light so that they glow. Uh, so these will debut Friday on my birthday. I love these. I love these. Jamie, we just showed what's going to debut on my birthday and the colors in this set let me tell you real quick are cruising with Marilyn hot on the heels last glow of the campfire dull whip yellow polka dot bikini catching lightning bugs adrift at midnight midsummer night meet me in Miami and don't kiss and shell we also put you a black and a white in here so there are 10 glow in the darks with a brand new butter um, black and white liner. Obviously, obviously, the black and white doesn't glow, but everything else does, okay? So, yeah, that's coming out Friday. All right, let's get to getting on this. Stephanie says good evening from Charlotte Airport. Hi, Stephanie, my student. I miss you already. All right, y'all. 
Uh, let's, um, would you get me that fake hand out of the, um, uh, my little photo tent there? Let's turn this thing around. Let's get this show on the road, because I don't like to sit here and just chit-chat all the day long. Honey. All right. Keith is going to bring me, um, one of my new prosthetic hands. It's right here, babe. It's just on a magnet. Pull it off. And let's adjust our lighting real quick so y'all can see. Just, just give it a pull. There we go. You have been waiting for this class, Barbara. First of all, look at my new prosthetic hands, y'all. They're tattooed. Honey, honey bunny, you guys, let me zoom in, look at these tips, shut the front door, child, won't you stop it, these are our brand new kaleidoscope nail tips that are textured, let me show you what they look like, Nike, you with me? What do they look like without product on them? They look like this. See there? Let the camera focus. Don't you love it, Francie? Cam, right? Look, y'all, y'all can use this as a full cover nail, or if you, if you have those clients that have really wide nails, you can sit your nail about right here, like a three-quarter nail, and fill in the back of it with gel. But if you're using this as a press-on, it is, honey, she ready to go. She ready to go. Not yet, Robin. We're working on it. We are working on it. So we have these in stiletto, and we have these in ballerina. I also did some other samples for you guys. Look at the baby boomer. Let's take her off of here. Here's the Baby Boomer Kaleidoscope Nail with the texture in there. Now, I put some artwork over her, so she's not showing as textured just because I put some stuff over it. Let's see if we can put this on this black background, and you can, you can see through that maybe. Not really. I'm going to break the interwebs with these Kaleidoscope Nail Tips, honey. I also did one with alcohol ink that I dropped down into that tip. Lord, girl, won't you stop it? Won't you stop it, Miss Tracy? Look. Now, this is the ballerina shape. And I did one more where I put some firework gel in it. This is the cherry bomb firework gel. Yes, honey, they're full cover nails. They will work for press on nails. They are full cover nails. If you missed what they look like when I just showed it, this is Nike out of the box right there. And your nail tip size, now look y'all, because these are textured on the tip, your nail tip size is right back here at the cuticle. See there? Don't you love them? In tonight's kit, we were very generous in tonight's bundle. If you buy all this separate, honey, it's going to cost you something. Tonight's bundle, and these are so pretty boxed. The top of the box to your kaleidoscope tips is uh, textured as well. You get 500 stiletto tips, and you get a box of 500 ballerina. We're giving you both of these in tonight's bundle both of these. So you're going to get a thousand nail tips. You're going to get all seven, and I can't fit all this in the camera. You're going to get all seven of these fairy crumbs. Now I haven't been using out of mine. Yours will be, yours be a little bit fuller. All seven fairy crumbs. You're also going to get our fairy glitter tonight. This is brand new. It is not anywhere yet. It's a purple, rose, teal, insanely wild shift. And there's about five or six different cuts of glitter in there. I'm probably going to regret pouring that on my hand. 
I'm sure I am, but let's just sprinkle a little magic for good luck. You're going to get that, and you're going to get fairy stones. These fairy stones, look here. Oh, fairy stones are delicious. Let's find a little something to pour these fairy stones out in. What you got here? I don't know if you can see them on this or not. The fairy stones are part flat back and part point back. They are exquisite. There's six, seven, eight. There's nine different colors in uh, the fairy stones. Isn't that beautiful? And that's what comes in the bundle for $169 tonight. If you buy the tips by themselves, they're $30 a box, you guys. All right. Uh, we have open stock of everything except stones and except glitter right now. Um, everything else is open stock. We got plenty of fairy chromes if you just want fairy chrome. And I gave you guys a coupon on your fairy chrome also. I already put it on there. Um, so... All seven fairy chromes, 500 stiletto tips, 500 ballerina tips, and they are the kaleidoscope tips, your glitter, and your fairy stones. We only have 20 bundles. We don't even have that. What? Well, only we're down 16 bundles, and we ain't even got the tutorial started yet. All right, here we go, Gigi. Let me show you these fairy chromes over nude. I did a little work ahead of time here. Each one of the fairy chromes have a really pretty... Um, hollow to them. Are y'all seeing that? Let's zoom in here. This is the same color pink under uh, on each nail and I've used a different fairy chrome over the top of it. Look here how pretty. I can't even hold all of these. You got yours Jamie. Um, this one exquisite. Just exquisite. Look at these. Here's one that's got a gold hollow. You could totally change the entire color of your polish line with these chromes because they're clear and they're vitreous. Vitreous means you, whatever color polish you got on here, you can see that un, through the chromes, all right? Wisconsin won't know what hit them. Child, look, look here, look at these, look at these hollows. So this is all seven fairy chromes over uh what's that pink I keep mispronouncing something about body <laughs> I forget which color pink it's just a neutral uh, bridal pink uh, that I have these over all right then I took I also wait you ain't ready for it I know you not you looking at something else I'm gonna wait till y'all get ready hold on hold up look at this fairy chrome ombre. Mm -hmm. I used the same fairy chrome and I chromed my stamp. Yes, heavenly booty. <laughs> my heavenly body is the pink I used. Then I used the same, one of the same fairy chromes and I made my own top coat with it. These are so versatile. It's unbelievable. Aren't they way too cool? Oh my Keith says they're going like hotcakes. This one I, I chromed and I stamped it. This one is triple chromed, I believe. It's just beautiful. All right, so let me come back to these chromes so I can show you uh, how to use these kaleidoscope nail tips. Because I have a feeling that bundle is going to be gone. Uh, and let's show you how to use these. How's that sound? Here we go, GGO. Sure, it's freaking awesome. Uh, since the stiletto ones are sitting near me, I'll use that. But the mm. ballerina ones are really, really pretty too. So again, the number of your tip sits right back here. So let's put that on a little stand here. Okay. All right, so first thing I want to do uh, is I want to put a little primer on this nail. 
And this just so that uh, all of our gel and everything we're going to put on here is going to stick real good, honey. Because look, you don't want to file this now. You file that. You file all those little uh, teeth down. That little shape down. And I know I have a primer sitting here. So when I prime this, I'm going to prime right back here. And look, these are full cover now, so you can attach these with rubber base also. I've already taught y'all how to do that. People request that all the time, so I'm going to have to do it again soon. Um, but you can stick these with rubber base, or they can be glued on, either one. Let's just give that a second to dry there. And we're going to do one of these nails. Y'all, I have to show y'all how to use this because um, this is everything that's in the kit. Besides the rainbow candy chrome I threw in it. If y'all are my customer, honey, I know you got candy chrome. If you got Mermaid's Code can Cove candy chrome from last week, uh, that would be perfect for you to use in here. So first things first, we got that primer on there. We're going to take a little bit of our rainbow candy chrome and the primer makes the nail kind of sticky. So let's just pop down a little bit of this rainbow candy chrome in this checkerboard area down here. Would it help if I put a glove on because my nails are kind of busy and I don't want it to cloud the judgment of these ones. See there? Hey, the video quality does look better tonight, doesn't it? So much better. All right, a little bit of rainbow candy chrome. <clears throat> Keith says I might want to put a glove on. Let's at least put one on. Okay, next thing we're going to do is we're going to pull out our opaque pink uh, rubber base. And we're going to take this opaque pink rubber base and we're going to lay it on the flat part of this nail right here. But there's a little ledge there. Can y'all see that? These are so easy to do, y'all. They look, they look very hard. But once you get your rhythm down, they're so easy. If Joy is watching, Joy, these would be such pretty press-on nails. All right, let's pop that in and cure it. <laughs> and this is the what we're doing. Oh, honey child. Now, look, if you want to shorten these nails, I don't mm -hmm. recommend cutting the tip off because you'll cut all of your pattern off. I've showed y'all once before how to shorten nails and the way I like to shorten them. Joy says she's here. It's this way. Take your clippers and you shorten them from the back of here. So if somebody got this itty bitty nail bed, honey, you cut off this thin part right here. See, I just cut that off. We shape it just a tiny, tiny bit. No, uh, well, we put primer down. You can't smooth this out, okay? So we put primer down to make it really, really, really sticky. And that's how I would shorten this particular nail. All right, <clears throat> we're gonna do, look, we still have a ledge there. See that? We don't wanna see any texture on there. I, well, you can if you don't mind wearing it textured, but mine are all smooth. And they don't look thick either, look. So let's go one more coat of this pink rubber base. I don't wanna get it on too thick because I don't want it to run inside of the lamp. And this time, I'm going to turn it around this way, and I'm going to lay it on pretty heavy right here, right at that little edge, and I'm going to let gravity start doing its work. I want gravity to start pulling that down between these nooks and crannies. Sometimes I have to help it a little bit with some alcohol, like this. Touch and it starts to help flow that gel. This is what makes the pretty, this is gonna ombre uh, this rubber base down between just a few of those. 
Let me pop in just a little bit more right here. Just so you can, I'm gonna go heavy on camera just so you can see what I'm doing. And touch it with some alcohol. There you go. Look here, honey. And you just let her flow till she flows out to nothing. Denise says, are these crumbs different from the two full boxes we received? Seven yes, three. honey, these crumbs are all white and clear. Yeah, you see how that flowed down between that little pet checkerboard pattern there? Once that happens, go ahead and get this in the lamp. Let me just make sure this is the way I want it. All right, in we go. Denise, if you didn't see when I first came on, I showed all my little pots of chrome sitting here. There's seven different clear chromes with a different halo to them. This is pink, opaque pink rubber base. This is a base coat with a tint in it. And that's what you need to sit on top of that nail tip. All right. All right. Now let's get our fairy glitter. I like to work out of the uh, top of my lid here. Look at that how pretty. There's there's chunky pieces, and if you kind of shake it like this over to one side of your lid, it'll reveal the little itty bitty pieces there. So using your favorite clear, it can be a builder, it can be a clear rubber base, whatever, whichever you want to use. Now we're going to get our glitters on here. So let's put, I'm gonna put my clear in the same spot, very, very thin. Super, super thin. And now we're gonna pick up these fairy glitters. Let me get just a little bit of that on here. Pick up our glitters and we're gonna lay these glitters real heavy at the back of this nail. Robin says it looks like a sequin dress. Oh, it's so pretty, Robin. It, I know uh, <clears throat> pictures are not doing it justice and the video most likely is not doing it justice either. Um, I wish y'all could see this in person. And I feel like when people wear these kinds of nails, everybody, they, you know what they're going to say when they come back to you? Or, or once they wear this kind of press-on nail, they're going to be like, girl, everybody was making comments on my nails. Sure they were. Of course they were. Now I want these little babies, and I'm going to put the baby ones right in here. Wouldn't you know, I always pick up a big one when I don't want a big one. This is a whopping 10 gram pot of glitter and it is filled to the brim. Ask, my test. Ask Keith, he knows. <laughs> Look y'all, we had him filling candy crumb one day last week and he took the vacuum cleaner to his hair. It was, <laughs> gone. It, was, it was flying all over the place. He just vacuumed off his shirt. He vacuumed his hair, everything. I said, oh, baby, you're shining for Jesus. <laughs> Look, I just ombre that out into that wet layer of gel. So now we got to cure that for 30 seconds again. Sandra says, poor Keith. <laughs> we say this little light of mine. I'm going to let it shine. Everybody sing. This little light of mine. I'm going to let it shine. <laughs> okay, wipe my brush off there. Let me put my glitter lid on while that's in the lamp curing. I love this glitter. I know it's a fairy glitter, but this is going to be real pretty for Halloween too. He was, honey. He was shining for Jesus. Okay, BGO, she is cured. Now, we almost have the top of this nail even with this. Miss Tracy, how are we gonna hide that? We're gonna do it the same way as we uh, did the, the top part. We're going to encapsulate the glitters in a clear rubber base. So this is where you can get real generous 
with your clear. In other words, if you're a thin polisher, you got to bump it up, honey. You got to float this on. See how I floated that on there? And look, that straight light line. I'm going to freeze that just, ri oh, I think I touched it. Oh, well, not too bad. I'm going to freeze that. Honey, deal ya. When we got home, he still, after he'd cleaned himself off, he still had it in his beard, in his ears, all over his glasses. Now you do the same thing with this little down here. This, this textured part of your tip, really work that clear in there. Get it down in all those nooks and crannies. Now she's still not smooth, but she's getting there. Now watch what I do. Watch, 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 watch. Don't miss this part. Take you a big old bead of clear and you just let that run off your brush and drain down into those nooks and crannies, just like that. I usually have to put two of these on. Now I'm gonna turn that upside down, let the gel kind of pull down in those nooks and crannies. My gel is getting low in my bottle. It's easier to do when you have a new bottle. Oh yeah, honey. Now I'm gonna freeze that. Any gel that's clear can be, you can put 30 coats on and freeze it. And, you, and it'll be fine until you do the final cure on it because it's crystal clear. All right, one more. Oh yeah, that one's gonna get it. That one is gonna get it. You don't want to see any points sticking up through this. Okay. Now I'm gonna turn it upside down. And we're gonna pop this in the lamp and cure it. And when it comes out, we're gonna wipe off this sticky layer and, lay it, layer and give her a buff. In we go, GGO. That's gotta get at least 45 seconds. While that's in there, this is what we're creating. Look at that light line. Can you, that's what I mean when my light line is straight. See that? Oh, that is beautiful. I'm so joyful and funny. My little grandson told me last week he was eating something, Rhonda. I think he's eating a donut or something. He dropped it and it went right down between his little legs. And he just got the, he was so bewildered looking on his face. And so I tried to make light of it, you know, so he didn't get embarrassed. I said, well, Gibby, that donut fell where the sun don't shine, didn't it? And he just laughed and laughed. He said, Nina, you so funny. <laughs> you know, kids get embarrassed over things like that. All right, here we go, GGO. We're going to wipe off this nail. Now, she's not too shiny because we don't have a top coat on it yet. Look here. I'm gonna take it off my little stand here. If you got lots of lumps and bumps in there, you're probably gonna have to use a file like this. But the way I drug my, uh, look, look at my light line, how straight she is. So she only gonna need a buff. About like this. Because that glitter at the back of the nail here is where you wanna make sure is, is laying down. Hey, y'all know what I've been thinking about doing? Because there's a few months that the uh, fifth Sunday falls in or a fifth Wednesday. I've been thinking about on those having a special request night. We just log on to the class and what y'all ask me to do is what I do, honey. Robin said, what did you wipe it with? Uh, alcohol, darling. I wiped the, the dispersion layer mm -hmm. off of the rubber base with alcohol. Now make sure your glitters is nice, nice and smooth right back here. Okay, boo. What grit is your buffer? What grit is my 80 grit? It is too strong to be a buffer. It's a, that's the reason I pick them up for something like that. Now let's get this dust off here. And we're going to top coat this joker and see what she looks like. Let me 
me wipe underneath too because I know I got dust up underneath there. Are y'all ready to see this thing sing? I know you are. Don't you be doing something else. Don't you be looking at the news or uh, something else on Facebook because you will miss a really important part of this nail. Here we go, GGO. Now, you use your favorite top coat. This nail, I'm going to say not to do this nail matte because you're not going to see hardly any of that texture. Are y'all with me? It needs to be shiny to see the texture. Here we go, GGO. Lord, won't you stop it? Matte. Shiny. This thing is just throwing all kinds of colors, literally. You see how effortless that was? Trina says it's the underneath of the nail smooth where the texture No, the, it's textured underneath too. I am going to suggest, because you want this to be like crystal, crystal clear. So it's still kind of matte underneath there. And I would put a no white top coat underneath as well. Just so you get the ultimate shine off of there. Honey, this thing is beautiful. Look here. Lord, look at that light line, how nice and straight. Now, we want to cure, you thought it would be harder. Uh, if you've never done a textured nail tip this way, the first one you might want to throw out the window. But if you will get your stuff and follow my video, get your stuff, sit down, put the video on, uh, you're going to be fine. Look at this one. This has cherry bomb firework gel in her. Huh? I love that one. Which one? The red one? Yeah. The cherry bomb one? Mm -hmm. They commented earlier. Isn't it gorgeous, Rebecca? This one, I just dropped alcohol ink down into the kaleidoscope area. The texture down here. And then I did one more. I did one kind of wedding style. I have artwork on her, but you can still see the texture in there. And that's a baby boomer. Our nail is almost finished in the lamp here. And then I'm go. oh. Melissa was said, how did you do the cherry bomb one? Um, how do, I'll show you here in a sec. I will show you. Isn't that pretty, you guys? All right, how did I do cherry bomb? Let's see, do I have a nail tip handy? I got a small one handy. Let me use that one. And she too, I don't know, was she fit on there? Yeah. So when I did cherry bomb, let me grab my cherry bomb. I'm glad you asked that, Elizabeth, because there is a little process to it. So we have to prime the nail, obviously, so it holds our polish. When you use primer on the nail, it starts melting the plastic that's in the nail tip and it'll hold. Plus, the, uh, you guys can't see it on camera, but the textured portion of the nail tip has been pre-buffed. So it has a rough surface to it. So it'll hold your stuff. Okay. Let me let that dry. So here's Cherry Bomb. Loss has musky. She's pretty. Look at this. I'm going to take Cherry Bomb and I'm going to just fill this all over. I'm going to get it all. Let me get in frame. Thelma. I'm going to put this on fairly heavy and let it go sink down between all those nooks and crannies. I'm asking what kind of primer. Uh, I just used a nail tip primer. There is one that I prefer, uh, which is my own primer. I just don't have it in stock as of yet. It will be here tomorrow. 
Um, we have had a nail primer made specifically to use on press-on nails and full cover nail tips like this. And she is arriving tomorrow, finally. All right, so you just sit that down and let that, um, let that gel start to settle. Look, it's falling off the mountains and it's going down into the valleys. You could use clear acrylic, Michelle. Certainly could. If you are an acrylic artist, knock yourself out, honey. Go for it. While that's settling, put your little alcohol on a wipey. And here's what you're going to do. You're going to hit the top of that. Boing. Boing. I know I have a black gloves on, glove on, but what I did is I wiped it off the top of my nooks and crannies, and I only left it in the nook and cranny. Can y'all see that? Beth says, is that the primer that she got in her press-on class? Uh, yes, the one you got in your press-on class is the one coming in tomorrow. <clears throat> so that's how I applied the cherry bomb. And then it was the same process as I did the rest of the nail. <laughs> Dead Valley so low. Yes, honey. And there we have kaleidoscope nail tips. You get both stiletto and uh, ballerina in tonight's bundle. Isn't that pretty? And I'm telling you, every way you turn them, the light just hits it a different way. You're very welcome. Now, let me go over these fairy chromes real quick that's in the, uh, in the bundle tonight. <clears throat> let me take my glove off. I already have them swatched over these nudes. How about if I, can I swatch them over black because they change color when you put them over black? Can I do that since, you, since you're already seeing them like this? They will change color no matter what color you put them over. Maybe you're gonna put it over coral or maybe you're gonna put it over red. It's gonna look completely different on um, everything. Do you apply them the same with rubber base? Yes, you can apply with rubber base. Sure can. And he said those tips are so cool. Let's see if I got some black nail tips here. Please, okay. Okay, so chrome works best over a chrome uh, top coat. Unless you're using a gel polish that has a non-tack layer in it. And there aren't too many like that. There are a few. The gaudy, if you use gaudy gel polish, you can chrome right over top of your gaudy without putting down uh, your outshine. But most of the time you need this. This just produces a really nice chrome effect. So we're gonna pretend these nails are already black, that we've painted them black. That's why I pulled out the black tips. They just save us time tonight. And we're gonna put one generous layer, one generous coat of outshine, and these get cured for 30 seconds before we chrome it. Now, don't over cure because do you, do you work on those people that as soon as the light cuts off, they uh, trigger that sensor with their hand and turn it right back on, and they take their hand cycle after cycle after cycle. First of all, that's a no-no. They are over-curing their product. Second of all, when you over-cure outshine too, too long, sorry, I got a fuzzy in that one, uh, it won't hold your chrome. So don't over-cure it. I still got a fuzzy in it. We gonna pretend she's not there, honey. So I'm just popping out shine on all of these and we're gonna look at these chromes, honey. They all have fairy names. I forgot to get a full set so I can tell you the names. They're things like um, Tink, Moxie, Flutter. Keith said he'd bring me a set. They all have fairy names. One, two, three, four, we got three left. 
I think it's so interesting the way that um, Chrome changes color over whatever we put it over. But depending on the hollow of your chrome, if it has a green hollow and you want to put it over green neon gel polish, child, you talk about pretty. Okay, there we go. And one more. Here we go, GGO. All right, first up tonight. Flicker. Flicker has this beautiful gold hollow to it. This is Flicker. All right, let's pull Flicker. Where is she at? Right here. Let's swatch Flicker over black and see what color she turns. Let me get a little brush. Are you ready, Freddie? Here we go, GGO. Flicker over black. <gasps> Lord. And then I love to burnish my chrome in with a glove, so I might as well put on another glove. See, you don't want your chrome to stay like this. You want it to, to be like this. So burnish that in. This just turned a gorgeous uh, champagne color. Really, really pretty. We top coat it. Lord. This is very uh, wedding like. This would be so pretty over the just a base of a natural nail before you put a French manicure on it. So here we go. That is the same chrome. Right, let's cure that one. And that's flicker. Do you sell the brush that you used to apply the chrome? I don't. That's that's an old, I don't even know where I got that brush, honey. I think it's a makeup brush. I believe. All right, let's go with Pixie. Pixie looks like. Um, let me find Pixie. Pixie is this. She doesn't really have a color to her. She just is uh, just a beautiful silver, kind of like a mother of a mother of pearl uh, shimmer. Let's see what Pixie looks like over black. You can if you want to. But if you want it to go chrome, you need to burnish it in. Gina says, on a client, would you base coat before final Yes, top always, top? always. We're just top coating for artwork purposes today. But I always, if I'm chroming all over, I always put down a rubber base before I put my top coat on. Ooh, that's pretty. That turned a really pretty, uh, again, just a gorgeous, it's like a black pearl color. So you could use this over any color and have it go pearlized. Nice. So, so pretty. Over pink and over black. Let's pop that in. All 
All right. And that one was called Pixie. Let's keep going. Next up, we have Tink. Guess what color Tink is? Anybody want to take a guess? Take a guess. Robin says, only on tips or on natural nails would you do that? Would I do what? Would I do what, love? Yes, Tink is green. Tink has a green halo to it. And let's pull Tink. Let's see, that one is steel. I have to see which one Tink is here. Purple, blue, okay, I got Tink. Here we go. It's got something in my jar of chrome. Robin says rubber face before outshine. Before, yes, before your top coat. Before your top coat. Okay, that one wasn't Tink. We'll come back to that one. <laughs> I was too, I couldn't tell apart and mine doesn't have the names on them yet. Here we go, GGO Tink. One is um, more green than, and one is more teal. And Tink is definitely more green. Uh, you don't want to prime your chrome, if that's what you're asking. If you put primer on your chrome, it'll no longer be chrome. So over top of your chrome, just go rubber base. All right, so that was Tink. Now the other one that we just did, that's kind of a uh, teal looking, is called Flutter. This is Flutter. And Flutter has more blue in it. Gorgeous. And here is Flutter over pink. How pretty is that? In we go. Next up, Moxie. Moxie has this beautiful uh, lavender pink halo to it. Moxie looks like this over a uh, pink. Isn't that pretty? So let's grab Moxie, because right here she is. I have a feeling, I don't know what this is gonna be over black. I don't even know, honey. <gasps> Lord, I didn't get a chance to swatch these over black until just now. I've been busy this week. Miss Tracy, won't you stop it? Oh, that is beautiful. Honey. Look at that. This is like a cross between grape and raspberry on steroids. Ooh. So there's that one. That one was Moxie. Let 
Next up, we have Sprite. Sprite is what you call a little baby fairy. And Sprite has this really pretty rose goldish um, halo to her. Let's see what color she is over black. Kim says when a client comes back in for a fill, do you need to remove the tips and replace it if they want a different design on it? Which tips? Are we talking about kaleidoscope tips? No, you just fill it in. But if they want a completely different design, you would have to remove it. I would not recommend that. I would recommend just filling it in and wearing that same design with maybe a little different glitter or something of that nature. Look at this, you guys. How pretty is that? Myra says, my daughter has a stuffed animal named Moxie. Aww. She needs that on her nails. She does need it on her nails. This was Sprite. This is the baby fairy. Look. This is beautiful. Ooh, look at that red hollow. Ooh, child. Now, this would be pretty to put over a really bright red uh, gel polish. See there? And I believe, do we have one more left or two more? One more left, wings. And Wings is this gorgeous, um, I know you probably can't see it, but maybe around the lip you can, is this gorgeous blue purple. On the nude nail, it's this one. That's her on the nude. Let's see what she looks like on black. Oh, no, that's musky. Kim says we need a Thelma doll. Oh, <laughs> I don't know about that. Oh, pretty. All right, and let's see how she does with the top coat now. Look at that rich blue. Jamie says that one reminds me of Elsa. Mm-hmm. Isn't that gorgeous? Such a pretty shade. It's, it amazes me how it can go from this to this, just depending on the color that you put it over. So let's cure that. Now, I know that when you guys get your chromes, a lot of you think you can only use it to chrome a nail, which is true in some instances, uh, depending on the color of chrome that you've got. But these ones, you guys, look, let me show you something with this. You can make your own top coats with this and, and just put a little bit of shimmer over whatever color nail it is that you're working on. How you do that is you put you some top coat on your little palette and you put about equal parts. You can even pre-mix these in the jar if you want to, but you put about equal parts of that chrome powder in here. You don't want it to look 100% chrome. You're just making a top coat out of it. Look here, honey. This top coat is going to have this beautiful uh, shimmer and iridescence and opalescence to it, like the inside of a seashell would. So now we take our nail tip, no matter what color polish we've put on, we just go take a black one here because that's what we got handy. And look what happens when we put that top coat on. Oh, girl! And we can thin this out to be even, even thinner if we want to. We don't have to have this much color into our top coat.
Now, because I have mixed powder with my top coat, I'm going to cure that and then put a final uh, top coat on it. But what if we wanted to use this gorgeous teal? What is that? Swimming in hope. What if we had this on our nails and we're like, you know what, that's pretty. But that just needs a little something, something, right? The little bit of something, something can be your top coat. Y'all, you could make seven different top coats out of these. Remember those little black pots I showed you a long time ago? Pre-mixing pots. I get them from the Amazon.com, honey. You could pre-mix seven top coats out of your fairy chrome. We're not going to mix another one. We're just going to use the one we got mixed here. Because it takes very, very little to do that. We're almost done. Now look what happens when we take that beautiful sea blue teal nail and we put this top coat that we've mixed over top it, we're gonna get this gorgeous purple blue halo. When you tilt the nail like this, it didn't even change the color. But when you tilt it like this, it goes all chameleon. Wait till I put that top coat on there. Let's cure that. And that took such a little tiny bit of product. How are we doing on bundles? Eight, I think, past that mark. Okay. So now, let's top coat this. And you're going to see that fairy chrome come to life that we've put in the outshine that we put on. Oh, nice. Look how pretty. I know it's hard to see on camera. Let's see if I can zoom in. There you go. Look at that shimmer. Beautiful, beautiful shimmer. Yeah, Barbara, it's like it puts a glow on it. You're exactly right. It did? Mm -hmm. There we go. So that's another way you can use your fairy chrome. Now, don't get too... Um, Carlene says, can you just buy the fairy chrome? Set? Yes, yes, Carlene. And I even put a coupon on the fairy chromes. I think it's either $20 or $30 I put off on the uh, whole set of fairy chromes for you guys. Let's mix a little bit more of that fairy chrome. I forget which one I was mixing. It doesn't really matter, does it? I think it was this one. And I'm gonna mix this one a little bit thicker because this one I'm going to make a painting gel out of. Janet says shine little glow worm. Right? Just work all that in there. See, that's stiffer this time, see? I prefer to mix this with a palette knife, but I didn't have one handy right beside of me here. Charles so says, what's the difference between the regular chromes and the fairy chromes? Well, the fairy chromes are, are clear. You can see through these. Our other chromes are not. They are opaque in color. That's the best way I can describe it. All right, GGO. Now, watch what happens. Let's take one more black nail. I promise I'm almost done. How am I doing on time? You're good. Not even Let me put down just a tiny spot of matte top coat here because I don't like to paint on a slick surface. I prefer, well, I guess I could do it just for time's sake. Watch here. You ready? Miss Tracy, go paint some, some scroll work. Lord, look what she done went and did. Mm hmm Let 
maybe there. Oh, maybe I'll do one up here. And let me cure that. When they said the sound cut out, could you tell the difference of that? The difference of what, love? Crumbs. Uh, the fairy crumbs that we're using tonight right. are uh, transparent. You can see through them. So you can use it over any color and change any color. Our crumbs that we had a while back are opaque crumbs. So it doesn't matter what color you got under it. If you're putting a blue chrome down, that nail is going to be blue in the end. But these ones you can see through. Does that make sense? What size brush are you using to paint you? Uh, this is the nine millimeter brush that I'm using and the one I just put down was the petal brush. When you mix powder in with your um, with your chromes like this, or when you mix your chrome in with a uh, liquid gel, it tends to get a, uh, it makes like an art gel. Oh, honey. Come on now, Miss Tracy. Show us something we don't know. Yes, Lord. Mm-hmm. And I think I'm going to stop right there. We'll cure that, and then I'm going to put a matte top coat over it. Because I like, I like chrome artwork with matte uh, with matte over it. It just looks completely different. I'm going to wipe out my brush with a little bit of... Your brain's on overload. Look, y'all, I like to show you more than one way how to use your stuff. That's how you, you, um, you get the life of your product out, you know? Can you mix the two chromes? Yes, honey! You can, you can mix these fairy chromes in with any solid color chrome and lighten your chrome and make it a little bit more translucent. It, it's going to be a mixing process. You have to test it as you go. Um, or you can mix any seven of these chromes uh, and make a completely different color out of them. Now I'm going to map that nail. And now we'll cure it. Thank you, Kim. It is another great way to use your chrome. My favorite way to use these is making my own top coats, though, so I can have, you know, seven different top coats. If you only got 20 colors of gel, you make seven different colors of top coats, and look how many gel, how much you've expanded your uh, gel line. So yeah, that's my favorite way to use them. This is about to come out of the, oh honey, you're not gonna believe this when she comes out of the lamp. It's so pretty. Laws has musky. Uh, yes, you can mix them with builder gel. You sure can. Oh, that would be so pretty, Kara. And look here. Ooh. Look. Fairy crumbs and spring crumbs. Yes, fairy crumbs are clear. Spring crumbs have color in them. They're still vitreous, but they have color. Fairy crumbs don't have any color. They're all white. They're all clear. Spring crumbs, which I might have sitting right here. Let me see if I do. If not, I have some, no, I have summer crumbs. So see here, spring and summer chromes are colored chromes. They are not clear chromes. So these are not 100% uh, translucent. I just had this one open too. See there? Looks completely different than this pink.
You're welcome. You're welcome, honey. I miss you, Maria. I need my Maria fix. <laughs> come back. Come and be like Dorothy. Come back. Come back. From Wizard of Oz. All right. Here's that baby we just got out of the lamp that we painted in. So tonight, just a recap real quick. Where'd fake hand go? Here she is. I've not named this one yet because she is my new tattoo hand. Maybe I'll name her Roxy or something like that, honey. I don't know. I like to name them after my uh, customers. By the way, Maria, I do have a hand named Maria, don't I? In tonight's bundle, in tonight's bundle, you'll get 500 ballerina kaleidoscope nails. Yes, honey, these textured nail tips, 500. You also get 500 stiletto nails. Oh, mine's over here and they got stuff sitting all on top of them. 500 stiletto nails, full cover. That's a thousand nail tips you get. You get the seven piece fairy chrome. And they come in a little box like this. Let me get these back in here and get them in order because these girls are fussing at me that put these all together for us. You'll get a seven piece set with your little wands and a nice little uh, top on there. So you can keep your fairy chromes separate from your other chromes if you want to. You also get fairy glitter that I used tonight. This is a chameleon color changing glitter. And then you get fairy stones. I didn't even get to those. Where are fairy stones? Right here. You get fairy stones that are both point back and uh, flat back. There are, I believe we counted nine different colors of stones in this set. They're highly faceted glass crystals. Aren't they pretty? And that's what comes in the bundle. That's the fairy bundle. We also have open stock the chromes. We also have open stock just the kaleidoscope nail tips if you wanna uh, try those. And that's what I used to make these lovelies. You're gonna try the kaleidoscope? I'm glad, Joy, I think you'll love them. I think you'll love them. Listen, y'all have a great Sunday night. I will see you midweek and have the, a great rest of your weekend, what's left of it. I love y'all and talk to you later. Bye-bye.